come on. Hello everyone, I've been a bit quiet of late. In fact, it's been about a year since my um, last uh, posting on YouTube. So um, I've had a lot of people asking, you know, whether it's still going and contacting me and trying to find out where I've been. And I thought I'd better put a, a video out just to let you know what's been going on. Um, obviously, it's been um, a weird old year for everybody around the world. Um, but something happened to me um, at the start of the year. Um, it was actually the end of January. I'd been feeling a little bit unwell, um, had a bit of abdominal pain um, those months over the winter. And so I took myself to um, A&E and um, I got a scan done of my abdominal area and um, they picked up a tumour. Uh, and I was diagnosed with bowel cancer and so that was a, a Friday afternoon. I got admitted to the hospital that day, uh, spent the weekend there, and on, on the following Monday morning, uh, I was told by the surgeons, right, we're gonna get this tumor out. So I uh, had a big operation, about uh, five or six hours, and they removed a tumor that was um, sort of located in the bowel wall, um, and it was creating a blockage and um, uh, also I'm told about 80% of my large bowel has been removed as well. So yeah, that's what's happened to me. Um, so obviously I've been in recovery since then. Uh, I spent about, uh, about 12 days in hospital after that. And then I've been at home. And um, obviously it sort of coincided with everything happening in the world. And I suppose in a way, um, if it was going to happen, I'm quite glad it happened when it did because it was kind of pre-lockdown. Uh, I remember reading about it in, in the newspaper while I was you know, recovering in hospital and it was mostly just about China and it hadn't really spread to the, across the world at that time. But um, so I was probably lucky in a way that if it had been six or seven weeks later, then it could have been a different story. But anyway, um, big thumbs up to the NHS. The, the most fantastic thing probably about our country is that we have this National Health Service, which is absolutely incredible. Um, and you know, the, the care I've had has been absolutely fantastic. So uh, thank you to everybody there. Um, so yeah, so since then, um, obviously we went into lockdown um, and my wife got furloughed from her job. Uh, my girls were off school, so one's at uni and there's a couple at school still. And so um, they were all at home, so that was quite nice for me to have you know, my family around while I was recovering. And I'm under, their, I'm under the sort of surgical team's care for about five years, so I'll have regular screenings and tests and all that sort of stuff. Um, I had my first one at six months and I've been told that there's no spread. Um, so, and I was offered chemotherapy, but I decided not to take it, kind of on their advice. They said that if you take it, it's gonna lower your immunity, which isn't really a good thing at this time uh, with the virus going around. So anyway, I, I feel so much better. I'm, I feel almost back to normal. And um, I'll just take it from there, if, you know, see how things go. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and live a, you know, nice healthy lifestyle and um, you know keep a positive frame of mind and uh, yeah but I, I do need to obviously get back into this photography I haven't really been doing anything for about a year or so um, I've just started photographing again recently and I want to try and keep my channel going and uh, yeah and uh, obviously Barney is going to come with me Barney what is it over there Oi, come say hello look so he's still doing all right He's 12 now, and uh, he has slowed down a little bit, but uh, he's still got a fair bit of go in him. Uh, I think he's getting a, going a little bit deaf though, but um, maybe that's just selective hearing. Anyway, so um, yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's about it really. Um, you know, I've, uh, a couple of things I've done, um, I've bought a camper van, so, the idea is that I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, looking around the country. I want to be traveling to, um, you know, a lot of parts of, of the UK, um, you know, when it's safe to do so. And um, 
yeah so hopefully i can resurrect this uh this channel get it going again and um and start photographing and start enjoying it um you know in, in the next couple of years i'm changing a little bit about the way i work um, photographically i'm not going to be doing the stuff that brings in the money funnily enough but i'm hoping to sort of turn it around and um, maybe start concentrating more on this sort of you know the landscape work and especially the film based work i really like um um, shooting the, the large format and, uh, and the medium format stuff so uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more of that so hopefully um, you'll bear with me and um, I'm not going to put any sort of pressure on myself to be getting stuff out you know on a real regular basis I'm not going to be sort of weekly or anything like that I'm just going to do it as and when and uh, yeah and then we'll take it from there so uh, thanks very much for all your support and people that have been um, messaging me and um, hopefully I will see you soon uh, with uh, some new videos. But until then, I'll see you. Okay, bye-bye.